Good morning, everybody. I'm Evan Salinas. And I'm Estella Hernandez with Hernandez & Associates. Thank you for joining us on another YouTube video. Thank you for subscribing, liking, and thank you for your comments. And be sure to check us out on the website, HernandezAssociates.com, social media, at Hernandez & Associates. I now, I fixed it. So now as soon as you go to the website, boom, pops up, and you can subscribe to the newsletter if you want. So if you haven't seen it before, we did a video maybe a year ago talking about the mobile food truck deal, and it was pretty, pretty controversial, all right? A yeah, lot of people- We got a lot of comments, didn't like it. Didn't like it. Uh, and I'm <laughs> okay. sorry because, you know, we try to bring you, you know, information that is uh, correct or current, you know, so. So instead of uh, talking about the uh, FTs, that's the food truck, we're going to be talking about just in general, can I get a TABC permit for a, and it's literally going to be anything that you can think of, food truck, container, your garage, garage. Your other Whatever. business Your that you other have business. another business attached to it and you want to use that space. 18-wheeler tractor trailer. <laughs> Whatever you're going to try to sell alcohol out of and get a TBC permit for. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and get into it. Here are the things you need to be able to answer to know if X, we'll just call that X as a variable, whatever mm -hmm. uh, structure mm -hmm. can get a permit. First one, can it get a CO a certificate yeah, of occupancy, occupancy. Mm -hmm. by the city yeah and and the city will have their own requirements you know uh so you need to contact the city and see hey tell them what you're doing uh, you know that you want to sell alcohol out of this container or out of this fill in the blank yes whatever structure it is and they'll tell you okay do you meet these requirements or they'll send you a list of the requirements then you need to check with the health department. So that's gonna be the next big one. Will the health department allow you to handle food, process any kind of food or drinks out of the- Whatever you structure. Know, whatever mm -hmm. structure it is. Someone had inquired about uh, preparing micheladas out of their apartment. Of course, you have to you know talk to the landlord um, and also the health department would probably not let you or um, uh, not let you do that, not approve a health permit, um, you know, using your apartment or your garage or, uh, you know, the some FT. other structure. Mm -hmm. the food, so, now the food trucks will probably get, could get a uh, health, health permit, permit, but then you have to get to TABC, even though say you get the CO, you get your health permit, then you get to TABC. And then TABC has their own requirements, um, you know, as far as selling alcohol, that is. If you want to sell food, you know, that's a whole other thing. But if you're going to add alcohol to it, you have to meet the TABC uh, requirements as well. So that's going to be the big thing. So it, regardless of the structure, whatever it's going to be, it could be food truck, uh, shipping container, whatever, whatever. Will it get a CO, mm -hmm. right? Will the local ordinances, that be city or county, be cool with you doing operating a business out of said structure? Will the health department in uh, XYZ area be okay with you operating out of um, whatever structure it may be? Your property owner. Will your property owner be okay with it? If you're the mm -hmm. landlord, then obviously, you know, that's fine. But if you're not, you're leasing or renting this space, you know, will they be okay with you doing operating this type of business out of here, right? And even if you are the landlord, you still have to meet all these other requirements for TABC, sure. the city, county, because I've had people say, well, I've got this big piece of land on one part of the land. Uh, you know, this is out in wherever it was. That's a, lot of, a lot of people say that, though. A lot but, of people mm -hmm, have land that they're trying mm -hmm, to start right. a business on. And like it just so happened that part of that particular county was wet and part of it was dry. And he, you know, I think the... Um, the line, the county line or whatever, city prop line came between the two properties. And so anyway, that's another thing. Even though you own the property, you know, uh, you still have to meet all of these requirements from the city, the county, the health department. And then if you're uh, going to uh, produce or manufacture tequila or, or a tequila brand and say you want to do that out of your home, um, you know, that's you, then you fall into TTB requirements. And like I said, uh, TTB and TABC are sometimes their requirements are kind of are uh, almost the same. So that's something else to think about. CO, health department, local ordinances, mm -hmm. your landlord, mm -hmm. TABC and TTB are the big ones that I would be looking out for to determine, can I sell 
uh, get a TABC por permit for. So if you have any questions, be sure to contact us, hernandezandassociates.com. And I'm Stella Hernandez with Hernandez and Associates. And also don't forget to look at our website. We do have some information there. So that is helpful. Y'all take care.